Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Ark Survival Evolved. In this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame one of the most annoying creatures in the game. I like it, but hate it at the same time. I like it when it's mine. I don't like it when it's wild. So that will be the Pegomastex. Now, this guy is well annoying because he robs you of stuff, then runs away. So if you guys enjoy this video and find it useful and informative, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So, before we get into it, let's start with the Pego Mastax in terms of tame. It is a passive tame, and unlike the other creatures, you don't walk up behind it and stick food up its butt. You let it rob you. The problem is, once it has robbed you, it will run away with whatever it has robbed. It will normally tend to go for the last item in your last action bar, so that would be zero for me which I am on PC, so if there's nothing there, it will go for the next item, and so on and so forth. It will randomly pick up anything that you have in your zero slot, so if you have a weapon, if you have uh, anything of value there, that is what it will rob you of. So do bear that in mind. Now, because it runs away, it can run into trouble. There is one right there, which I intend to tame. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, as I said, it does want to run away after it has robbed you, which means it can run into trouble or you can end up chasing it into trouble because you'll want it to rob you again. So let's start with the trap. I'm going to devise a trap. You can, of course, use that should you want to. It really does not matter what material you use because it will not or should not become aggressive to you. I'm going to go with three foundations wide. So it's going to be a three by one or you can go actually i'm going to go with two foundations for this actually i'm going to keep it simple you can go wider if you want and then we're going to go with walls all around you can use thatch you can use wood you can use stone i wouldn't go for metal unless you go into a area where they commonly spawn and want multiples of these guys they are good for pvp they do have their uses so we'll go with ramps going into the trap so basically this is a very simple pitfall trap now, I'm doing this on both sides because I don't know where it will be running. If it glitches out underneath the ramps, you'll have to coax it out. And then you can end up on either side of the trap. So having the ramps on both sides does help with kiting it in. Now, in terms of food, it prefers the meho berries. And whilst you could use a full stack of 100, I recommend that you split your stacks. And so on computer, you just press shift and then drag and drop to split a stack ideally you would want to use a stack of 20 berries but the problem with that is as you can see the berries have a spoil timer now the best way of doing it as i said is using 20 berries however i will be using 25 so basically you take a stack of 100 berries split it into four to get four stacks of 25 then you kite it into the trap and then place the mehel berry in your last inventory oh sorry i meant action key action bar slot i'm just keeping an eye on what he's doing okay so as you can see he's kind of decided not to go for me so i'm gonna just back out he will do damage don't worry about that it doesn't do a lot of damage and preferably you'll want to kite him off a mount so that he does not rob you until it is in the trap now i'm using a wyvern for this but you can use a other creature well i'd say probably an argent or a griffin anything that can jump over the gap basically you can even do this with land mounts you don't want to be too close to the ground because the Pegomastax does have a little jump and it can still rob you off of a lower mount. So once it's in the trap, you want to fly away, give it a couple of seconds to de-aggro because once it's aggroed, uh, it has a very interesting mechanic. If you don't have anything that it can rob you, it will become aggressive towards you and at that point, it will not rob you. So you want to de-aggro it, then just kind of walk in front of it, let it rob you. As you can see, it will do three damage to me. It did, I think, 16 damage to the Wyvern. 
because it could not rob me. Then place the next stack of items, in this case, metal berries, in your last uh, action bar slot. Wait for it to do whatever it's doing. This way it cannot run away, it cannot go into danger, and you don't have to chase it anywhere. So I think this is the safest way of doing it. You can try, of course, using the environment to try and trap it, but if it's not an enclosed trap, it will, of course, possibly run out. Every time it does rob you, it will do a small amount of damage. And the reason you don't want to use a full stack is because anything above 20 will just do the exact same thing. So the optimum stack size that you should use, and I'll show you this later, is 20 to 25. 25 just to uh, counter or take into consideration the spoil timers for the berries. There we go, he's got another stack, so this is its third stack. We'll keep kind of track of uh, how many stacks it's taken me to tame this Pegomastax because I will be doing this exact same thing with the with another Pegomastax and I'll be doing it with stacks of 100 just to show you that it does not make a difference with regards to that. If you use a smaller stack, it will take longer for it to tame. However, the good thing about this particular passive tame is the fact that as you can see its taming uh, effectiveness does not drop whatsoever i believe and please correct me if i'm wrong that even if it does get hit it still does not affect the taming effectiveness which is a good thing uh i think what it will do though it will upset the pegomastax and probably it will attack you which means you have to start the whole process again i'm not quite sure if that's the thing if it's a bug if it happens if it's still in the game i don't really tame these guys very often but that is a thing to keep in mind so it's got its next stack i think it might need one or two more stacks and uh, as you can see, things are spoiling in my inventory and the stacks that had 20 should end up having 19 berries in them, which is why you want to go for, I'd say, 25, just to uh, have that option there. You don't want to be trying to split stacks whilst you're in the cage with this because you won't be looking at what's going on. So you want to focus on your environment and the creature itself. Okay, it had a massive poop. Okay, that was it. It was one stack. Okay, cool. So it took, what, well, maybe I lost count. I think six, possibly five stacks. Also, very important to know is that once the Pegomastax has stolen the items, you can retrieve it if you kill it within a certain amount of time. Also, as you see there, it does have the metal berries that it last took in its inventory, so I can remove them if I want. Now, because it leveled up with the taming and so I got a few levels, that means I also got a few points in food, meaning it was still hungry, so I'll just let it consume it because, hey, why not? You know, I don't want it to be starving so i'm gonna go and spawn in another pego mastax just for you guys and i'm gonna do it with stacks of 100 just to show you that having a bigger stack than 20 to 25 does not make a difference so it took a stack of 100 as you can see the taming does drop but the taming effectiveness does not change so we'll just go with stacks of 100 we'll see how many stacks this one takes i'm guessing it'll be about the same i think possibly five or six okay we'll wait for it to do its thing okay now you'll know it wants to rob you again when it does not have that bag in its hands whilst it's got that bag in its hands if it is wild and you want to recover whatever it's stolen off of you you will have to chase it down kill it and then take it out of its dead body so that's how you get stuff back off of it. If it has robbed you of something valuable right on the last go, once it has tamed, you should be able to find it in its inventory. But that is only, of course, if that was the last uh, time it stole it from you. So what I mean by that is if you did not have enough time for whatever reason to put the food in your last action bar slot and it robbed you, say, of a specific item that you didn't want it to rob you of you can find it in its inventory assuming that was the last item that it robbed when it tamed out 
There we go. Let's have a go. I nearly made that mistake myself. I was too focused on trying to explain what I was uh, referring to. So it should take, I think, maybe two more stacks. I'm guessing. I hope I have enough stacks here. With that said, I have kind of lost count. But as you can see, it's kind of the same in terms of the stack size. So it doesn't really make much of a difference. Now, I could have cut this out and shortened it. But I just wanted to show this off because some people may not know. I mean, the older ARC players will know. The new people joining the ARC community will definitely not know about this unless they read about it. And I thought I might as well include this for a fun fact. So this should be the last stack that it wants. And they were all pretty much stacks of 99 berries, almost 100. And come on. Hurry up. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're waiting for it. It's looking at us. There we go. Done. So we've got another Pego Mastax here. As you can see in its inventory is what it stole from me. I will let it eat it because I don't really care much for it. But that is how you tame the Pego Mastax. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.